All right, good morning, you guys. Um, welcome back to the vlog. The groceries just got delivered. I did start bringing them in, but then I was like, man, I really gotta use the bathroom because I got here like as soon as I woke up. So we're gonna finish bringing groceries inside. I'm thankful that I live in a neighborhood where I don't have to worry about people stealing our groceries because that'd be bad. And I think Brian's getting the I think Brian's getting the lawnmower today, so that way I can do the yard. He's going to do my mom's yard again. So Brian is going to do my mom's yard again, and then I'm going to do ours. Let's go ahead and... Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and get to our little grocery haul. So over here we have some stuff for the adult snack box. So this is the adult snack box. You can see it's looking really, really sad. And then our kids is like nice and full. We always make sure the kids got it if we don't got it. So this is the adult snack box. Um, it definitely could have used more stuff, but Brian's only going to work um, for one more week because we go on vacation and we'll be in Georgia for a full week. So, And then by the time we come back, it'll be time to grocery shop again, so I'll buy a few more things because you know what we're not doing? We're not taking the boys' snacks. We'll just buy stuff along the way, or I might do like a separate little like... I might honestly just go to the Dollar Tree and pick up a bunch of stuff for the boys for whenever we go on our road trip next week, but um, I'm not gonna take their snack box, so I'll only be eating snacks this week. So when I grocery shop and we come back, we can save a little bit more money. All of these groceries were a little under $200, which is 190, which is pretty standard because when I grocery shop for two weeks, we're spending about 350 every two weeks. So um, yeah, we kind of saved about a, about 60 bucks we saved about 60 bucks and now we can use that 60 bucks for like to eat out on the road but anyways back to the grocery haul I got two boxes of these peanut butter oh these are salted caramel not peanut butter dang it I don't know if Brian's gonna like these but um yeah we'll we'll put those in there because he, he'll grab these for like a snack at work um he liked the fig bars but I decided to try these oatmeal crumble ones for him and then he loves this trail mix here, this specific one. So I got him some of that. We have a watermelon, two pineapples. And I did it this way because it's a lot cheaper to buy it whole and cut it up yourself than it is to 
buy it already cut up. And when I was trying to buy like strawberries and blueberries and stuff, for whatever reason, the Walmart website kept telling me that like strawberries weren't available. But then when, after I checked out, it was like, oh, do you want to add these items to your order? And I'm like, no, I already added different fruit. <laughs> and then we got um, some black seedless grapes. We have the blueberry lemonade, caramel water, and this berry cherry. We have come to learn that these are really the only two flavors that we like. We got some more body armors. Um, I'm trying to find ways to save money. And so um, I picked these up, which is kind of cool because these actually have vitamin B in them. So that'll be good. But these drink enhancers, I got one Arctic Frost. So this one's for hydration. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what um, makes this one not in a hydration one and this one a hydration one. But... So we're gonna let I'm gonna let the boys run out of their juices and then after that they'll now just get cups of water and squeeze a little bit of this in there for some juice because I've learned that they like that and I'll show you why. Got mustard, ketchup, we were running really low. Brian was like, We need mustard and ketchup, we need mustard and ketchup. Um we got one box of cereal because I, I wanna say Oh nope. Nope, my bra my brain did me wrong. My brain did me wrong and I should have just got up and checked. But I thought that we still had some of this cereal left, but we actually do not, so that's okay. Like I said, we'll be here a week, and it's not like they're eating cereal every single day, so they'll be okay for two weeks. I told myself just buy one box of cereal, and I chose to go with this one, a cereal that they eat more often. Um, Brian was out of oatmeal, so I got these little um, apples and cinnamon oatmeal things. Um, they have protein, and these are cheaper than the, what is it called, the Kodiak ones. So there's that. We have French toast sticks, two boxes, because we have a lot of kids. And I wish they sold like a really big box of these, but they don't. We have eggs, 18 eggs. The boys have been loving eggs. Um, I got turkey bacon, beef chorizo, and chicken sausage patties. We are going um, pork free, so at least in our home, because like if we go out to eat and we want like bacon or sausage we'll eat whatever the restaurant has but for the most part we are going to be going port free here in our house and we rarely go out to eat for breakfast so and i wish i knew this bag was this small because i would have bought two bags and that would have put me right at two hundred dollars um turkey sausage biscuits something easy for brian to grab and go and brian will not have to grab and go breakfast every single day um, I'm going to try to start, like, every night when I'm cooking dinner, like, prep him a breakfast for the next day. We have some green beans. And if you're wondering why I bought two of the family size and one of this size, it's because I want to start buying the family size because it's going to be cheaper. But I have one lonely can of green beans, and we need two cans whenever I cook. So I bought one little can to make up for the one lonely can. Um, I paid attention to the milk this week, so we got one original unsweetened and one unsweetened vanilla they that's why i got confused look how similar these look um whole grain bread again um we got seasoned fries for like whenever they have chicken nuggets or um fish sticks they can have some fries we got two bags of mixed vegetables we still have a lot of frozen corn and frozen broccoli um, I'm trying to eat less beef, and one way that's going to do is by making more chicken meals, or meals with chicken, so I'm going to make stir fry sometime this week. Um, we got some hash brown patties. As you can see, I'm really trying to be very, starting to try to be very versatile in our breakfast. Um, four pounds, this is actually four and a half pounds of ground beef. I'm going to break it up into, I'm just going to We'll split it down in fourths and put that in bags. And then, y'all, I have not cleaned not one thing this week. I've just been running the D-Bot because we've been out of carpet freshener. We were out of stuff to clean the bathrooms. And, like, all we've really been keeping up with is laundry at this point. And I forgot to put the towels in the dryer yesterday, so I'm going to have to wash them again. But that's okay because now I can add the towels that we took to the pool yesterday. But, um, yeah, so we were out of... Toilet bowl cleaner. We've been out of Febreze. Um, we've been out of these for a good little minute, so we'll go ahead and use one. Stick those in there. 
like I said, carpet freshener. The boys needed their laundry detergent. So I know people are probably like, wow, how do you trust your boys with laundry? I buy these for the boys. So that way, and the other stuff is scoop. So like the scent boosters, they know that they get half a scoop of scent boosters and half a scoop of OxyClean. But I didn't want them making a mess pouring stuff. So until they're a little bit older, I buy these for the boys. And they use one per load. So they last a really long time. And so we got some all free and clear. But that is it, you guys, for my little grocery haul for a week, which is kind of sad. But that, like I said, this is gonna all of this is gonna last us more than a week. But man, groceries are expensive, and I hope by switching, like making the small little switches, like not buying any more water water bottles, or not buying any more juice boxes and juice pouches, is gonna make a difference. Because now I have these, and we have an ice maker, so now we don't have to buy ice. And I'm hoping by just figuring, like, doing things like that, our grocery bill will become cheaper. I was going to go to Sam's Club or Costco, but then, like, I, I'm just so tired of having to go to two stores. Because I feel like, or multiple stores. So I think maybe if it's strictly only groceries like we have all household so like whenever we come back from out of town i'll probably go to like costco and sam's because they're right by each other like right up the street from my house actually like both are less than a mile away so i'll probably do that on our next grocery trip because i don't think we'll need anything for the house i really don't we're good on laundry detergent we're good on i'm going to start using i'm also going to start using vinegar for our fabric softener excuse me with a couple of drops of essential oils in it so, yeah, I'm just trying to make a lot of changes because it's, it's, like, bittersweet to say, but Brian and I are officially um, in a place of life where we no longer qualify for any government assistant, not Medicaid, not CHIP, not food stamps. We've been off of food stamps for a year now, a full year now, and... Uh, my sister was actually helping me with her food stamps at times, but that's not, she's not doing that anymore either. Um, God has just been really good. He's really faithful. And I think Brian and I will have to get on here and share our testimony at some point because it took seven years to get to this point. And I know that that seems like so funny because every time I think of the number seven, I think of completion. Like to me, seven, the number seven signifies completion and like things are made perfect. And I know that we're not made perfect, but I feel like our standing financially has been made whole and I don't want to say perfect because I still know that there's room for improvement I still know that there's things that we have to fix mentally because Brian and I still live a very poor people's with a poor people's mindset and we don't want to get out of that mindset because we are being so frugal we are being so diligent with where our money goes but we got that way because of the struggles that we went through so we're just really thankful to be where we are, but like at the same time, I'm like, of course, <laughs> and God, God is so funny because to us, I'm like inflation, 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 it's looking discouraging. Why can't we get food stamps? But then God is like, this is why I have bigger plans for you. I have a testimony I'm building in, in you guys to share with other people for encouragement. So God is just like, man, Brian and I used to sleep on the floor. I remember before we ever qualified for food stamps and we, we could only make our bill payments and gas like for our vehicle to get to work to and fro and all we had was wick so there was like the first year of our marriage like we rarely ate meat because we would only eat what wick gave us and if you know the only meat that wick gives you is tuna and so like we were hardly eating meat um i would buy like two or three packs every time i would grocery shop and so we would spread those out throughout it's like the weeks of us getting paid and then finally we got food stamps but yeah it's it's been a huge journey and I'm like people look at Brian and I and they're like oh I want to be like Brian and Allie and I'm like in order to and Brian and I are not perfect we tell people like do not strive to be like us but strive after the one that gives off his glory through us because it's really his glory that you see it's not our own so if you want to be like us, like seek the glory of God and that will shine through you. Um, because Brian and I are not perfect. We still have arguments. Like we still, we're, we're just not perfect. Like we are a married couple. Um, But yeah, maybe we'll do that on a podcast episode. It's just like share our testimony. But um, 
yeah and I'm just like man nobody you know people look at us and we're like no don't seek to be like us because we're not perfect it took a long time to get where we are it took a lot of sacrifice and even now within our new vehicle like people look at us with envy and oh y'all think y'all are better than everyone else and I'm like do you not see everything we gave up like Brian gave up guys trips I gave up my trips to go see Raquel having one vehicle I gave up a vehicle um, like we gave up so much flexibility within our schedules to have the vehicle that we have and like there was just so much sacrifice behind it Brian gave up his dream car like it like I don't think people understand that like how much we sacrificed to get where we are how much we didn't have before now we have enough to share like mm. I just love God. I love God and I just love God. I just remember when we were sleeping on the floor and we had one itty bitty TV that was the size of my computer screen. And the only person who had a bed was Ethan. We had a table with two chairs at it. We didn't have a washer or dryer. We had a little bitty refrigerator. We had enough towels literally for Ethan, Brian and I to have one towel. God is so good. He's so faithful. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of rambling, but I'm going to get all these groceries put up. All right, you guys. About four and a half hours later, and all the chores are done. I am now getting the boys lunch. They already had breakfast. I meant to put on another video. In here. They already had breakfast. I am prepping my hair. Brian texted me and told me he wanted to take me out tonight. And <laughs> probably because I said something. I said something so mean last night, and I'm sorry guys, I know it's not funny, but I was really my feelings because the only time we get to talk is like when we're laying in the bed and we're getting ready to go to sleep, and so last night we were talking and he kept falling asleep on me and they just fired, they were already working with the skeleton crew at their job and then they just lost two people, so Brian's been having to work so many hours, yeah, so Brian's been having to work so many hours and um, I told him I was like, and he kept falling asleep on me. I was like, I'll just talk to you when you talk to you when you have time. I said, and you're not busy at work, so I guess I'll just talk to you when we go on vacation. <laughs> I'm very annoyed. I'm trying out a new method with my hair today. We're gonna see if I like this method it's better. I am really out of line, like for jamming in three different chores today, because y'all know usually I do one big chore a day, so Mondays is bathrooms, two days is vacuuming, Wednesdays are either like an extra rest day or for grocery shopping, Thursdays are library days, we get out of the house, and then I've been mopping the house on Fridays now, and I did grocery shopping, vacuuming, and just catching up on like dusting and doing the bathrooms, I'm working on laundry now, we have to wash the towels, I need to wash the throw blankets that are in like, not throw blankets, but like, you know, like little blankets that you keep in the living room, like whenever you get a little bit chilly, so now I gotta wash all of those blankets, and it's just, I'm already tired today y'all, so I think I'm gonna just chill until Brian and I go on our date, but um, yeah, I'm getting lunch now. I'm going to heat up this rice, and I also have some leftover hamburger patties. I'm going to, like, cut them up and put them on the rice. And that's going to be Ethan's eating. You're eating my leftovers from Fazoli's. Pizza, spaghetti, and chicken. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, Yeah, so I still, oh, I still need to put soap. So I need to go ahead and start this washer. But I'm going to, once I'm done with, like, lunch and everything, I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing for water that inspired me to go ahead and buy those little drink enhancers even for the boys. Alright you guys, let's make this water that I keep telling you all about. Obviously, starting off with ice. And then what I've been doing, since this is all I have on hand, is that I will add like a little, I would say about a, le even less than a pump's worth of this, I pour it, so I can't really tell you, probably about like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or of the raspberry is what I've been putting in my water. What I think will be really good is this Arctic Frost with some coconut. I already know I like the coconut, so I will show you now. I pour about, me much. And then we're going to try these. And then I don't think you have to, I think you just take this off, but let's do a little of that. 
and then let's get some water. So as you guys know, we stopped buying water bottles. And now we have this. I do want to buy another one. It'll just have to be a part of our next grocery order since I have to buy cleaning supplies this week. So now let's see. Just give it a little mix over. You guys, doing this has helped me start drinking so much more water. Yeah, so doing this has started, like, I've been drinking so much more water doing this. Um, I have a big, like, 32-ounce water bottle that I use, and I've been drinking two of those a day. So let's see what this is going for. Oh, yeah. Yep, water stands no chance in my house now. That is good. All right, you guys, even though we are going on a date, I still want to make sure the boys have dinner. So I'm going to cook these on high in the crock pot for about two hours. So they should be done by 6.30. So I'm just going to season these with some butter steakhouse, some fajita, some smoked paprika, and some garlic powder. And then I'm going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt, pepper. Let's go ahead and flip these. Now we're just going to place these into the crock pot. I'm going to cook, like I said, I'm going to cook mine on high for about two hours. You can cook it on low for four to six hours. This crock pot actually works really good. I never have to cook anything long in here. I mean, this is all you're going to do. Last step is to... <coughs> You want to kind of cover these in barbecue sauce and about a cup of barbecue sauce. I did a little bit more because I was it was a big pack of chicken legs. So then you just love them, leave them alone, and you're done. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Hey. Wasn't looking for a lover. Nobody understood where I've been. I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I
So he got three out of two. But he didn't expect me to win any of them. Good morning, you guys. I am making the boys breakfast, um, and then I'm going to get dressed, and then I'm going to start editing, just so I can be on the computer already, because I actually have my first, like, real meeting, like, virtual meeting with an actual company, so I'm very, very hopeful for what this meeting will bring. I'm hoping it's a long-term partnership, but yeah, I'm very hopeful for what will come out of this. I'm just very hopeful and excited and of course I'm going to let you guys know uh, maybe I'll vlog a little snippet of it I don't know I just don't know um, but yeah so I'm going to make the boys breakfast and I'm going to make me a water today I think today I am actually just going to mix these two because this one has raspberry and tangerine and oranges and then this one is watermelon and strawberry Ooh, and I'm also going to cut up the boys water or the fruit right now but let me go ahead and get because if not, the boys are going to be asking me and asking me and asking me all day. But first things first, we are going to get the boys breakfast. So, let's do that. Three packs, perfect. Because Ethan and Bryson can share. I mean, King and Bryson can share. King and All right, here's my taste test, you guys. That is so good. Come taste this, Bryson. No watermelon yet. We're going to let it get cold. Is it thumbs up? Turn the water off. Is it thumbs up? Good combo, guys. That's a good combo. I love you, Mama. Thank you. You want to try the 
I got fried rice and the boys all got lo chow mein. Brian got fried rice too. Mm. Hold my hand. Yes, sir. Ready, mommy. Ready, mommy. CJ next. We just need some socks for the boys before we go on our trip. And then I just want to see what their what, what the prices on their luggage are looking like. So I checked out the Prime Day sale, but they were still really, really expensive. So I'm hoping at least I can at least find one big enough for Brian and I. All right. So for a while, I thought I was recording. I guess I wasn't, but I was telling you guys we were looking for socks, and that it was a little bit hard to find socks, but I did find some. But I'm checking all the sizes right now. So I have these ones for King. These are three ninety nine. I got a pack for Bryson, a pack for Brian, and then I found these for Ethan. These are on sale for six dollars, and it's these New Balance socks. But I'm afraid that these ones might be like just a tad too big. And I wish I could find another one of these brands for Ethan, but. Oh, look. Oh, look, I found something cheaper and better. So, you know, I was getting like a pack of each for Brian and e Brian and Bryson. Well, these are going to be like a couple of cents cheaper. Hey, baby, will you hang those back up over there? I found a cheaper pack. Just, they were just over there. And then, like, I found this pack for Ethan, and it's only $5.99, so. $5.99, so we can put this one back. I mean, it's the same price, but he gets, I think, two more pairs in this one. No. Yeah, two more pairs in this one, and they'll fit him better. All right, we're looking at the luggage now. Exactly what I came for, socks. I'm convinced that luggage is just one of those things that you have to save up for. And I forgot to text Brian and tell him. But yeah, luggage is just one of those things that you're gonna have to save up for. And yeah. Just use the little duffel bags we got. Everybody! You and see a Jamie and Sam and everybody. See a Jamie?
Come here, hard hard. Come on, let's go see Uncle Ray. Well, where did you get that from? I bought it. Oh, I gotta see that one. No, wait. Hold on. Wait. Let me get some shoes on. Wait. Oh, mother. It's too hot to be waiting. Okay. Let it flies in. Come on, let's wait inside. It's hot. <laughs> I didn't have a feet on. It's easy to put on. Yeah. He already started. Let's just stand here till he comes back this way. He's not paying nobody no mind. Harm, harm, go be real careful and tap on his back. <laughs> Go say hi to Uncle Actually, I'm gonna wash these because they're not supposed to be yard shoes, but what you use what you got. I actually really hate putting these on when I have on the socks. I don't know if we're gonna go to church today. I don't know if I'll be done with the yard in time. They might go, but I'm probably gonna stay home today. Mostly because I don't want people being like why? Why didn't you guys come to couples fellowship? Because I don't like going to socialize. I had a dream about my dad last night. We were just sitting there in his living room talking like all the time. All right, you guys, this is what we're working with. It's pretty bad. I like to start with weed eating, so that's what I'm going to start with. You guys, so yeah, I spent all day re recuperating after cutting the yard. I finished at 12, so I was cutting the yard from about 9 o'clock this morning to 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and I still didn't finish everything. I still need to do the alley, I still need to go back in the backyard and weed eat around the house and the fence. But other than that, it was all done. Um, we're heading to have dinner now with the I'm living family. my best life. Hey, I have red juice. Ain't worried about you, suckers. Suckers. Living my best life. Ethan, you should be sitting back putting your seatbelt on. I tell him that every time we get in there. Hard head make a soft butt, my grandma said. So, yeah, we're about to head. So, yeah. But look at the yard, y'all. It looks so much better. And then the forest, we would come home. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my friend. But it's about to get loud in here, so I'll see y'all.
Say hi. Bye, <laughs> I've done show y'all so much. We done sung hey, a whole song. Hey, hey, it's recording. Right we'll do it again. Have <laughs> your <laughs> favorite. It's recording now. Julia's so good. And I had all my babies. Mommy, look. Me and Jaden have the same shoes. Oh, y'all do. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's only ten dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what, what did your little Sarah? I could walk with you for a million miles, and my feet would not get tired. Where you go, I'll go. Winter or summer. You guys, we are back home. Um, we stopped at Walmart after we finished eating. So I'm going to do a quick little haul and then call it a night. And I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I might take tomorrow off. Because usually I take Saturday and Sunday off from vlogging. I didn't do that this week. So I might take tomorrow off from vlogging and just give myself a break. So, see what we got. My boo got me some roses, so I need to put these in water. I need to put those in some water. And then I found these really cute, like, pants for, they were on sale for $8. The original price is $15. Um, and I thought I could wear these with, like, a white shirt. And they look like they're something that I can wear that will not upset my stomach. Like, it won't put a lot of pressure on my stomach. But like also super cute and loungy for around the house and they're from the joy spun brand at walmart and then brian got a pack of gum for the car i use i love auntie jackie's hair gel the curl boss but it's two dollars more than this one and this one works just as good this is just the cantu avocado hydrating gel really good and this one you know is one of those like cleaner not super clean but affordably clean products so no mineral oil sls sles sulfates parabens silicone phthalates alcohol paraffin or propylene glycol so like i said it's cleaner but not the cleanest but it's still affordably clean you know balling on a budget getting clean on a budget and then we got optimus some calming treats um and then we got some Swiffer Power Mop Pads. I've been out of these for a while. Oh, I might Swiffer the house tomorrow after I clean the bathrooms. And then, I, did I already say that we got this cap and crunch? Anyways, got these cap and crunch. So I'm about to put all this up, take my vitamins, and then read my Bible a little bit and lay in the bed. I, I need to take some allergy medicine too because I have some sinus pressure from doing the lawn. But I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys, like I said, sometime this week. <laughs>